Yes, finally, finally, finally! So, of course, we are back with another Dragon Ball video. Of course, we did get some new news right here, of course, for both Global and JP, actually. Um, I just have my camera position. Um, it's not weird or whatever, but um, it's, I'm slowly starting to kind of get used to it, though. And while I like, though, like, I, I did get an energy saving bulb, but all bulb I still have. I just have an energy saving bulb now and stuff like that, so, of course, I'm still getting used to it. Not as hot as it was before. It's actually pretty cooling, so, yeah. But for me, though, it's starting to get a little bit hot. Today is actually pretty cool at times of recording. Um, but yeah, it's actually just pretty okay actually today. Um, well, for me though, I am I do feel pretty hot because I'm wearing wearing all black though. By the way, so yeah though, we did get some new news right here for um global and both global and JP right here. We did get we definitely did hit number one in the app store, but we got a thank you you know for the collab and stuff like that right here. Um, it's a, it's a simultaneous like you know um collab for both global and JP because we do have Golden Week together. If you guys not know what Golden Week is is um as always at the end of April for Japan, it's basically with people going on vacations um and stuff like that, which I just learned that from Koresh, just watching his videos and stuff like that, watching his um one Android eighteen um and seventeen Dragon Ball Legends. Video for the Terminator Power for the both of those units from the for the Terminator Power from the Terminator Power um, that full breakdown he kind of mentioned that I was like oh yeah I already know Golden Week was like a, like a holiday anyway though so uh, for years thanks to Dokken though I learned that so yeah um like JP always had like some like so many holidays even New Year's like, they they love New Year's like better than us people get like loads of money like just not in a, just loads of money going on vacation to celebrate they do it way better than we do I mean we're, we're, I live in America for crying out loud they go and save fireworks and everything so. What was my excuse? Um, man, I've been in Duke and Money on my birthday, birthday and stuff like that, though, so. I know. Oh, yeah, but hey, back to what I was saying, though. Of course, of course, of course. <laughs> Um, we did get some, I, I love being an idiot on camera. Um, we did get 30 stones, of course. Uh, we got number one in the app store. I feel like I'm an idiot. Like, I'm really I'm an idiot for my videos. <laughs> I really have a fool. Okay, okay. Uh, we did hit number one in the app store, of course. Uh, right here. I can upload this video the next, like, I think. I want to have this video out, at least hopefully by Monday, maybe, I have this video out, because I have my, um, Super Saiyan 4 Goku, uh, you know, breakdown, you know, LF Super Saiyan Goku breakdown video already ready for tomorrow, technically. The time recording is Saturday, next day, for me, it's going to be Sunday, so I'll probably have it out, but at least by Monday. I have it already ready to go, so I would have done it the night before uh, for the video to keep process and convert, because it only takes, like, what, at least two, three hours for the video to convert, up to five, um, but yeah. Um, of course, we got Clab. Um, of course, the basically hit number not number one, but we kind of hit number one, number two, number three. Um, you know, the horse girl anime in Japan, of course, is a big thing. Um, that's been going on the last like couple months since like I think beginning of January. Um, I think beginning of January, February. Yeah, because you no, know, because I remember the horse girl game is coming out for JP. Um, of course, um, it's a horse girl um, anime and it has a crossover game, even though they all look pretty much honestly all the same. You know, and that was gonna be like horse uh, human on half horse girl on the bottom, right? And I expect that. That was like a cent. That's more of a centaur kind of thing. You know, half man, half horse. Like there is. But, um, but yeah, of course, global, both global, and JP did get this. So no global shaft, no JP shaft. No shaft, boys. We got both the stuff on here. So of course, for um. Both versions, we got 30 stones, um, one grand high of each typing, five platinum hurt statues, 10 meat items, of course, um, small meat items, and of course, um, 20 keys, 20 green gold, 20 green story keys. So yeah, again, that's typical number one in the App Store reward for JP and Global. It's more anniversary level, kind of, because they do give out, like, every Hercule, they give out, like, platinum show, um, they give out, um, 30 stones, at least, you know, it's always been like that. But again, for Global, is different because they every time they hit number one in the country, they do get an, um, an, a stone and stuff like that. And, um, of course, you know, we get, like, one grand kite each typing, each typing. This honestly is anniversary level, though. Like, legitimately, this this is anniversary level for, um a, like, a typical celebration and stuff like that. And a lot of people are going to be like, oh, this and that and blah and blah and blah. But, um... It's not really. This is almost anniversary level right here. And specifically uh, for anniversaries, anniversaries and stuff like that, they always keep the rewards kind of the same. Even, even for both celebration and stuff like this, like for example, they could have did the 16th anniversary together. Goldman and JP would have gotten the same exact rewards at the exact same time. Probably maybe a couple hours later or whatever, because I think he did it with the general celebration. Um, no, I think JP got the rewards first and Goldman got there like a day later or a couple hours later. But you guys gotta understand, again, at the end of the day, JP market is more competitive. Everybody's gonna always say that. No, we say the same thing as every other content creator, like, because it is serious like the course girl game has been like it's like this ever since like january like early january as i known it um it's been number one i've never seen not even Dogen could beat it not even faith grand order can beat it not even puzzle puzzles and dragons can beat it and that those are like the top three gotcha games right now like they been on the market for years so you can't really say anything about that it's always gonna be competitive no matter what so no matter what you do no matter what you say it's always gonna say the same you can't change that no matter what um but then of course like i said um my friend is right. Anyways, you guys, it's not as bad because again, that's why you see global hit number one. Maybe like a couple of days later, or like a couple, you know, three or two days later, or whatever, we see it always hit number one. So yeah, 
again, that's how, that's how different the markets are. Like, JP is just more competitive at the end of the day. They have a lot more stuff, again, stuff that came out first, some that, even stuff that even, like, two years behind or whatever. Like, yeah, even Genji right now. Genji's still doing great since, like, day one. Since I see, because a lot of people play the game day one. I see, I don't play it myself, but I do like to do, like, the aesthetic of it. I still follow it even now. I've seen all the waifus in that game. Trust me, I've seen all of them. Even, like, even Fire Emblem. Again, Fake Grand Order. People love the waifus. That's why it's still on there, so, yeah. Empire Moon, I think, stuff pop up. Xenoblade got a mobile game. It's gonna be over. Pyro and Mythor can be over. So, yeah. Again, little stuff like that, though, of course. But yeah, like I said, stuff, again, getting Golden Week at the same time is actually really, really great because, again, and we had, like, back in this, if this was November for Global, which we've seen with Boo and Go Tanks, it's horrible. It's just flat out horrible because, like, you know, you have, like, kind of no excuse because no one's got someone on it right after Demo Celebration and Anniversary. It's not bad, but, like, no one is gonna want to do it. It's, at this point, it's like, no one wants to wait all the way until almost a year later, like six, almost six months later, six months out of the year, almost six, five months later, Freeze guys come out on Global. No one wants to wait that long. And plus, that by then, I'm, I'm not even going to summon. Because at least, honestly, I do not need to summon. I have everything on here pretty much. Um, so I'm probably going to skip it to the um, save for the anniversary. Because I feel like I only missing like five units from each of those anniversary banners specifically, though. So. I mean, it doesn't really matter, so, yeah. Of course, like I said, GT Goku and GT Vegeta, as I see him more, I haven't played with Vegeta that much. Um, that's not, okay, got a contact right there. Um, but I've seen Goku. I think he's really, really hard. He's insane. On Do even on his own Doka event, because I did take him myself in the Doka Fest event for my, um, Doka Fest video, which is not out right now, but, um, Goku, he hits really hard. I have not seen Vegeta's numbers at all, but I keep hearing, like, uh, I kept hearing Vegeta's better than Goku and vice versa. I think actually both pretty good, though. I mean, I'm seeing Goku right now. Um, yeah, I'm seeing Goku hitting this hard right now. I don't, I can't wait for to see how Vegeta's gonna do, because I feel like he's gonna do a lot more, a little bit more than Goku. Maybe damage-wise, they're gonna probably be, because they're pretty much both the same unit at the end of the day. Just one does a little bit different than the other, and vice versa. I do the Goku family and Vegeta family units, though, because I feel like we need more, like, leaders, like, we need, like, a new, you, you are a leader for this guy. We, we badly need it, like, these guys just need, like, another, you know, type of Goku family, Vegeta family leader, because a lot of people aren't gonna have the other Super Saiyan force, despite that, because they're all like, on the banner though. And of course we got Metal Weirdo's Awakening. Uh, I wasn't gonna really go with the side units because I never do, but I'm glad he finally got his Awakening on Global. <laughs> um, Steel, <laughs> the middle, uh, like the whole Metal Planet in the background. I can barely even see that though. Uh, Give me bro vibes right there. But yeah though, I'm um, really good though. This guy finally got his Awakening in there. Really good support set unit and stuff like that. I see him impressed with him. He actually is really, really good though. I'm really impressed with him. I think he's actually really, really good. I'm fucking playing on a brother to do like all this. Yeah, being effective against all types of GT support. Really good for this guy. Really, really good. Um, though of course we got a new, um, Gohan and Goten, um, Go yeah, Gohan and Goten GT unit, which is, we badly needed one, because even separate cards, they need one, even Super Saiyan, because they have, like, evil counterpart, um, for Baby, they got Super Saiyan, they got, um, just regular Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, I think Gohan, I think, does it go Super Saiyan 2 with GT? I think he does, maybe? I don't know, I can't, I don't think he does at all. Um, uh, they mainly just Super Saiyans and stuff like that, of course, but, um, yeah, like, we can see, like, new versions of these guys in the future and stuff like that. Like, a base from Goten that goes to Super Saiyan, you know, when Eddie Doku wakes or whatever. Um, we can't see that in the future. It's good that these guys came out as cards, these cards as well. Um, they came out as well as, well as these guys right here. Even though they're all siblings bond, which is still weird. Um, yeah, I mean... I mean, they, I mean, GT, of course, I mean, they are best friends, of course, you know, Goten, Go, Goten and Drums, but with their own siblings, Bond. I think they messed up there a little bit, though. I think they put the mark a little bit off, but, um, hey, whatever. I mean, they always had a sibling like Bond anyway, though. So, yeah. I mean, they are best friends, though. Who gives, who gives crap? No one. But, yeah, again, for, for them being the Goku family and Vegeta family support, Combining best of both worlds, really good. So yeah, and of course the banners right here for both Global and JP. They are dramatically different though. So um, again, there's nothing like really different there. Um, I feel like Global got the way better banner in the end though. Um, just in general, Global got the way better banner in the end because again, you have Ultimate Gohan, you got Frieza, you got uh, I mean Transforming Goku, uh, Transforming Vegeta. Nobody. Oh, okay, okay. okay. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, overall, both of them are actually really, really good though. I mean. I, I had to say, though, this is way better than the Pycon and Geneva banner, in my opinion. Um, I mean, the banner is actually really, pr was pretty okay, but it's weird because Blue, Go Blue Goku and Blue Vegeta just came back on Global, and they were in even the Baba Shop together um, twice, because um, they did it before, I think, with one other celebration, where the f unit was featured, like, literally, these uh, LR Blue Fusions were featured on the, um, I think, on the, um, on the Pycon and, um, and Geneva banner just now. Um, but then that banner had like two hours of leave. I um, think had like two hours of leave or whatever. Uh, they were still in the shop, like so you can buy like two duplicates of this guy and um, Gogeta as well. Um, so yeah, um, I like Goku's banner over Vegeta's banner though. Again, it just felt like Goku family units and like you know beyond that. But overall though, I think like Goku's banner is a little bit better than Vegeta's, and I think Vegeta's um is still good though. Honestly, I think I, I'm a more fan of Goku's banner personally though. And of course, JP banner they did get Pycon and Janemba though, of course. Um, 
Which, again, uh, Gobos is way better in my opinion, though. So, yeah, um, again, let's hope that for Gohan and, of course, Frieza. But, yeah, if you want somebody, I say to do discounts and that's it. Because, again, the Global Anniversary is, like, right around the corner. We still got, what? Uh, right now is May. June, July. Like, we got, like, almost two more months. If you guys want to hang in there, I am. I'm saving up for Anniversary. Unless something new, uh, Global First, comes out in, like, a week later. We're going to get, like, another, you know, week LR, Gohan and Goten, Super Saiyan 4, Goku and Vegeta. The who's in the Gogeta. I'm kidding. That's a gut of rule. Cannot do that in Japan. It's a gut of rule. Can't have two cards them together. Blah, 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 blah. But yeah, um, we can't, we probably can get like a Goku and Vegeta that goes into like Gogeta. We're gonna definitely see that. So, for example, Vegeta. And, like, we, we can probably also even get a Mega that goes like from Shadow Dragons into like, you know, from Sinshiro to Omega. Like, we're probably gonna see that during Down Celebration. Or, you know, I don't know, next year anniversary, Global JP. Because, again, Global at this point is already pretty much covered with JP. We're only missing um, Gohan and Goten with the um, Unit Super Tech with Krillin, which we're gonna see in J June, because that's what, however, JP gets after the anniversary, Global gets next. So, we're gonna see that in June. And probably after the, um, and probably, you know, um, after the anniversary, we're probably going to see Videl, then we're going to hit the Down Celebration. After that, Global has really nothing left, so, um, they could probably do some, like, Global Filler Banners or whatever, so we've seen that with, um, LR Banners with Angel Vegeta and Angel, um, Go uh, Angel Vegeta and, you know, LR Rose. Like, we've seen those high tech, you know, relive banners, so yeah. Global got the better Banners in the end, JB Banners are actually pretty okay as well. Um, again, not for Global, to do this, JB doesn't have discounts, but Global got the win, though, discount, so get ahead, yeah, no tickets are ripped, so, um, yeah, if I just do discounts and that's it, call it a day. That's probably the only way I say the best to do. The bear's actually really good. The units are all really good. Successful Golden Week. Got the units. The units are amazing. All the units are amazing. The banners are amazing. Celebration for JP is way better. Global sadly got the shark half. We did the Super Saiyan Forks confirmed for the EZA, you know, for the EZA for Global. So we get to definitely see that. Um, I feel like, yeah, JP's celebration was way better. Again, we're going to see part two in like a week ish. Then we're going to see the LRs and stuff like that. So, um, yeah, though. We can probably see that in the future. So yeah. See you guys later though. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Great life. All good just again now. Make sure I stay safe. Watch it. God bless. I'll be are we going out. Put away mask. Just blood paper. If you really need really to. I ain't got a breath right now. So what do you guys think about all this stuff? Do you like it? Do you hate it? I like the GT celebration. I like GT. I don't care what anybody says. I was as a kid growing up. I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what anybody says. Um oh yeah, I need you oh yeah, I need you um Vegeta Doku Fest video. I have Goku's recorded. I don't have it like edited, ready to go for YouTube. But I have it done. Um I got it probably after this. And then um I probably edit this video first, then get the Goku video, probably record the Vegeta video after this, because I still need to do his Doku Fest event. Yes, I do it, I don't care, I, I enjoy that, so yeah. Yeah though. So yeah, see you guys later that we can know. It's out.